when God tells you to move, move. God gave you a vision, okay? And the vision he gave you, many people are not going to see what you saw or hear what it is that God told you, okay? But don't you allow that to blur what it is that he told you. People around you that did not receive the vision that God gave you are going to begin to give you plan B's or maybe you should do this just in case it doesn't work out. Well, I think that you should... Mm -mm. It may be our natural inclination to be a plan B. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. And it may be viewed as preparation in the natural, but in the spirit, that can be looked at as doubt. That can be looking looked at that can be looked at as a lack of trust in the Father. If God is telling you to go somewhere, he has already provided for you. Don't you allow nobody to try to mislead you or redirect you or detour you onto the path of doubt, onto the path of anxiety, into the path of a lack of faith. What God has for you is for you. And where God guides, he provides. And like I mentioned, people, people, they, they're, they're not going to see it. They're not going to see it. So please, please be prepared for opposition. When God begins to move you into the promised land, listen, listen, y'all, people are going to be looking at you crazy. People are not going to understand why you're doing what you do. They're going to be trying to propose all types of idea, but you focus on what God told you. Okay. People going to be saying a lot of stuff. And they're going to try to suggest you to go against the grain of God. But you remain steadfast. No man that put his hands to the plow and look back is fit for the kingdom of God. Don't you look back when God tells you to move forward, move forward. Don't worry about what you're leaving behind. Don't worry about what people got to say. Don't worry about what they're trying to suggest. None of that. You listen to what God told you. Many times on this walk with God, you are going to be walking alone. I don't hear too many people talk about this, but this can be a very lonely walk. A very lonely walk. The path is very narrow. Very narrow. And I, and I believe that it's narrow for a reason. Because everybody can't go where God is taking you. And not even that, everybody can't handle it. Everybody don't have the faith. Help me, Holy Spirit. Everybody, oh God. It's some people in your life right now, they don't have the faith to see what you see. That's for somebody, because I know it's for me. They don't have the faith to see it. So when people start falling off or dropping like flies, thank you. Another one, thank you. Another one, thank you. Another one, thank you. Period. And I also want to say this. I also want to say this. When you do good, evil is always present, okay? Evil is always present. Let me tell you something. Don't you forget what God told you. Don't you forget what you prayed for. Don't forget what you fasted for. Don't forget what you sowed into. Don't forget the, the vision, the dream that God... Don't you forget that. When the enemy comes up against you with the spirit of doubt, with the spirit of fear, with the spirit of anxiety, with the spirit of confusion, right then and there, you need to be planted in your faith. Because I'm telling you, it is a test. It's a test. It is a test. Your results are going to display whether you have faith in God or not. Okay? Be careful. Be careful of the people you're around. Be careful of who you allow to speak into your life. I bind the spirit of doubt right now in the name of Jesus. I bind the spirit of discouragement right now in the name of Jesus. My God is who he say he is. And he's going to do exactly what he promised me.